day. Call me superstar, but you a star, a shooting star. Uh, not an actress, but you're looking like a movie star. Uh, I appreciate the time we spend together during any weather. This shit is for Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be October's favorite. I know I'm a little late, but uh, better late than ever. Okay, so anyway, so we are going to get right into it. Girl, you know I'm always rapping, rapping, rapping. I'm so excited. I got so much stuff. Although, when I'm doing my October's favorites, or when I'm getting ready for my October's favorites, I'm like, I don't have anything to show you guys. I don't know what I want to show you. What? I didn't buy anything. I didn't do nothing. That's This is the things I go through in my head. But then once I start walking around the house and collecting all the things I actually love, man, I come up with so much-ish from just that month. And I'm like, I don't even buy that much. Where does this stuff come from? I don't even know. Can't even begin to tell you. But, um, yeah. So, anywho. So, we're going to get right into it. October's favorites. I'm going to start off with cosmetics. Okay. So, I got a couple cosmetics. I'm going to start off with lipsticks. Yes. Because, you know, I love different lipsticks. And I buy lipsticks all the freaking time just because I just do walk a store. I'll be like, oh, that's cute. Oh, let me do this. It's cheap. Okay. Alright, so let me go on to my lipsticks. Okay, this is one of my favorites. This is Lolita. You guys know this. This is a Kat Von D lipstick. It's called Lolita and it is bomb.com. Love this lipstick. It's the lipstick I have on. I'm going to show you it against my skin tone because I'm going to show you what it looks like actually on my skin. So you guys might not be able to see what's on my lips. So yeah, so this is Lolita. So yeah guys, this is Lolita. I've been loving this shade. This shade is bomb. Um, I can't do anything else without it. I really like this shade. The next one I bought, but that one was retail at $22, so it's kind of pricey. Um, I found another color that's kind of close to it if you guys are in the range of trying to save a little. This one is LA Colors. I bought this too. I really like this one. It is, um, it was, um, so it's kind of close to Lolita, but not really. Um, it is about, it was $2. It's LA Colors. Um, I don't know how long it lasts because I didn't wear it for that long, but I thought it was really freaking cute. And I was like, oh, I, I you know, it kind of reminds me of Lolita, but not really. So if you guys can see that, that is bomb. Um, that's another lipstick I really like. My next one is um, Kiss. LA Colors, guys, you can buy them anywhere. I bought that one at Family Dollar for $2. But, um, yeah, so the next one is Kiss. And I bought this from my beauty supply. Oh, my God, this thing moves on. When it goes on your arm, it's, when it goes on your lips, I'm sorry, it's so smooth and so creamy. This one is the, um, this last one right here is the um, Kiss color. Can you see it? This one is Kiss, and it is matte lip liqueur okay so yeah um this is pretty much dope it is a matte lipstick it's awesome i really like this so all three of these so far are matte lipsticks i'm going to show you one that's a bit of a gloss i really like it but i just don't know it's kind of like too oh i mean but it's nice it's la colors and it's for two dollars and you can't really beat it so you know it's but it's it, it'll do for the time but it's kind of really wet like it's really wet can you hear the sounds that it makes okay i'll stop all right anywho but yeah that is that last color this is the color um this is LA Colors High Shine uh, with Shea Butter Lip Gloss. And this one is in Lavish. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I didn't tell you the other LA Colors lip color. It, this one is, um, this one is Spice. This one is Ruby. So, this is, okay, let me, let me get all my girls in order. So, this one's Lavish by LA Colors. This one is Ruby by Kiss. And this one is 
This one is um, Spice by LA Colors. And the last one is a Kat Von D. And that is Lolita. Yes, Lou. So, yeah, that's Lolita. I really like that one. But anyway, so moving on, I bought some other cosmetic stuff that I really like. This is a, a primer. I really don't do primers. And the reason why I say I don't do primers is because... I never feel like they're right for my skin complexion. I'll be looking at primers like this is, this is not right. I cannot go on wearing this. It's just not going to work for me. But this one, it worked out pretty good. And I was really happy with it. And I've been wearing it underneath my makeup. And it's been kind of cool. So, And I really can't find a lot of primers for my skin complexion. So I'm really loving this primer. This is the Almay Smart Shade CC, Illumin CC Luminous Primer. Complexion Correcting Primer. This thing is bomb. It's, it's been really good. I mean, I, I wish you could see it. I mean, if you can, I'm sorry. But it's bomb. I really like this. It really went good. I mean, so this is the next thing. I got it from Sally's. It's a top coat. It's a it's for my nails. So I really like this top coat polish. It's called INM. And it's out the door. America's number one super fast. Blah, blah, blah. Um, it's out the door. It's a top coat nail polish. This thing dries so freaking fast. It's out the door primer is bomb i've been using this for a while now and it really does dry super duper fast like i don't even have to wait that long and that's what it's all about oh yeah guys let me tell you yes remember that color i was wearing and raving about last month and i've been telling you i really like this color this one is that one this is that your soy color that i was doing all the actionness for yeah this is your soy this is my friend i really like this color but yes that's that color I was talking about last month and my last month's favorites. It's dope. I really like it. Still do love it. Okay, moving on. Now I'm going on to brushes, guys. These brushes I bought from e.l.f., of course. Um, this is an e.l.f. C. C this is an e.l.f. This is an e.l.f. What is wrong with me? I can't get it out. This is an e.l.f eyeshadow c brush um that i really was feeling and the next one is elf contour brush and i feel like i could never really do my um i feel like i could never really do my my eye makeup the way i wanted to but i think it's all about tools you know so i mean i'm still learning i'm always learning but this is um the elf eyeshadow um brush and this is a contour brush which i've both use them for my eyelids but I really like them um and I'm mad that I didn't buy them sooner because I really think when you're um, doing your makeup is you know once you learn the technique is fine you just have to get the tools next so in order to do your makeup properly you need those tools those tools really help and they become such a muse in your makeup skill it will it will advance it immediately once you get the proper tools I'm not lying you know, I mean, it's all good at the beginning to do things with your fingers, but after a while that ish gets played out and you'd be like, look, I need a brush. So once you get a brush and you start using a brush, it's going to be, that's going to be it for you. You know, but anywho, moving on. Next is, um, the next product, next product I'm going to use is a moisturizing product. This is, um, this is Eucerin. This is a calm, a skin calming um moisturizing cream this is good for my purse i just throw it right in there and it's bomb i mean i don't can't really say much about this but it's great because i can stick it in my purse and it's not a big bottle it's not weighing me down which makes me happy because if you, you guys know you guys see my tote video i carry big bags majority of the time so when i have the chance not to have a big bag in my purse I mean, something big in my purse, bulky, and that's weighing it down even more is great for me. So this user and skin calming cream is great. And I really like to stay moisturized during this time of year because I have really bad shoulders. So my shoulders always get dry first. And the only reason why I think my shoulders get so freaking dry is because, um... I normally, I don't know, my shoulders just get messed up fast. And plus I do running and I'll be going outside, I'll be jogging, I'll be working out. But that's mostly during the summertime. But my summers, could, my shoulders continue to mess up throughout the year. So I try to keep my shoulders really good. That leading into my next product that I'm absolutely 
in love with. I think it's bomb. I'm going to show you both of them at once because I think they really go together. It is um, Nivea. Both of them, these are Nivea. Um, this is a cream moisturizer, cream moisture, and this is a body wash. This thing is, it keeps you, your skin real nice and soft, you know. And then I use this Nivea Essential, Essentially Enriched Body Lotion. This thing is, it is for um, dry to very dry skin. And my skin, like I said, it has, it gets very dry during this time of year. So my duty is to keep it moisturized. And that's what I'm going to do. My next thing that I'm showing you guys for moisturizing is my coconut oil. You guys know, I already told you that I really like coconut oil. Um, this coconut oil, I formed this, guys. This does not come like this. I formed this by putting this in a freezer. If you like a tutorial, let me know. But anyway, so yes, this is coconut oil. I really like coconut oil. Um, I use it for my hair, my body, my skin, my everything. Coconut oil is my everything. Um, so yeah, if you need to invest in a coconut oil, man, I mean, everybody needs coconut oil. Coconut, what's that? It's like something on... What is it? I think it's on um I think it's on Instagram. If you don't know, follow it on my Instagram. I'll put it down below, of course. But um anyway, so yeah, it's on Instagram. It's like coconut oil. Use coconut oil for bad hair, bad skin, and boyfriends. Like girl, what would you just say now? That was cute. <laughs> But yes, I really like coconut oil. It is my thing, thing, thing. Okay. Um, next, I have a um, next I have facial cleansing products, which I did have a video. I put up a video for you guys. It is for um, facial products. No, it's my skincare routine. Duh. That's what it's called. It's called skincare routine and um, this essential facial, this essential foam essential foaming facial cleanser um and this olay refreshing and toner um astringent i really love so you guys know that i put it in my other video so you guys can see and uh, i will tag i will link that video down below so you can see what i use to clean my face because my face has been really turning out for me guys like i mean within weeks of me using these products i mean like I mean, just because I've been wearing so much makeup, I really do not wear a lot of makeup during the week, but I do wear makeup when I come on these videos, so, or sometimes I do. So, I've been trying to get my face under control, and these two have, these two products have really been, like, helping me out. You don't even know. I really, really, it's really changing and impacting my skin in such a great way. I thought I would want to share it with everybody, because that... Man, I mean, I don't have really sensitive skin, so since I don't have sensitive skin, I never really get a lot of breakouts, but lately I've been getting breakouts, and I ain't been feeling that. Like, that's not for me. Like, I don't get breakups like breakouts like that. So, yeah, so those have been working for my breakouts. Okay, moving on, guys. All right, I'm moving on to one of my books. Now, I am in this little whack book club, and the only reason why I say whack book club because I'm bothering my girlfriend, Arlene, because we are supposed to be reading books in our book club and we don't be doing nothing we be having book club meetings drinking wine and don't do ish but yes that's how we do i love her two pieces you know i love you arlene that's my girl so anywho i was reading this book with her it's called the cartel this book is dope it's called the cartel with ashley and jaquavez jaquavez yeah and i oh, we only read just this part so far um, just part one and a family that's trying to keep it together and when I say keep it together it is all kinds of mayhem It's all kinds of drama like soap opera in this book and then they left me hanging at the end I'm like damn now I gotta read part two. I think it's like six parts to this book. This book is dope I'm so mad that I wasn't on it when it first came out or at the beginning of this big craze of this book But I'm happy I started reading it. This thing is I mean, I'm just saying, The Cartel, Ashley and Jaquavis. So if you get a chance and you want to read a book, this is an urban novel. So if you're into urban novels, this is the book that you're going to love. I mean, if you are into urban novels, I don't know. So, yes. So, yes. Urban novels, this is a bomb book. I love this book. I think this book is a good read. 
So, you know, if you're looking for something like that, yes, read this book. It's an urban novel book. It's yeah, I need to get part two. So that's my next, that's my next thing. I gotta get part two. I must, I must, I must, I must. Okay, anyway, next is, um, next is this scarf. I have had this scarf for some time now, but every year around this time, I get in this scarf and I'll be loving it and I'll be like, I can't let go. This scarf is an infinity scarf. I guess this is what they call this, right? I bought this scarf and it's bomb. It's huge. It's a huge, very, very huge scarf. I bought it for like 48 bucks. I bought it from American Apparel. And I love hate shopping it there because everything is so like, you know, you feel like it's basics, but it's like expensive basics. Like why are basics so expensive? I can't get it, but you know, whatever. They have good quality of stuff, good things. And like I said, I had the scarf for so many years. Like I had the scarf for like three, four years and I use it every year around this time of year. And I'm absolutely in love with it, been in love with it. And I can't say much more about it. Hey guys, that's it. This was my October's favorites. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a good time. Um, this is your girl. It's Tiffany Antoinette. I am signing out with my October's favorites. Um, they call me superstar, yeah. but you a star, you a star. Bye, guys. Not an actress, but you're looking like a movie.